Thank you. Uh, I'm Mikko Saari, the CEO of Painava Sana Oy, and I'm doing business by selling Relevancy Premium, a search plugin for WordPress. And why do I do it? Well, the market is huge. You don't have to get a large share of the market in order to make a nice amount of money. Here you can see the six-month rolling average income for selling Relevancy Premium. It started quite low, but it has reached quite nice numbers right now. That's not a huge business, but for a one-man operation, it certainly pays quite well. Well, the market is huge, and it has also some downsides. There are lots of competition, plenty of plugins, plenty of premium plugins. How do you stand out? Well, you need to have strengths, you need to know them, and you need to use them. You need to know what you are doing better than anybody else. Relevancy Premium is certainly the best search plugin there is, because it's absolutely flexible. It does anything. You have full control over the search results, you have full control over what goes into the index. And that's something that other search plugins don't do. We also have amazing search, the customer service. That's something we do really well. So these are our main selling points. These are the things that we really want to push when we try to get people to buy Relevancy Premium. Of course, you also have weaknesses, and you need to know, know your weaknesses, and you really need to be honest about them. And you want to be helpful and guide people to the right tools. Relevancy Premium is not the right search tool for everybody. It works really well if you have a small site, but when your site gets to like 10,000 posts or even 100,000 posts, somebody asks me about, I have a million posts on my site, is relevancy good for me? And the answer is absolutely no. Relevancy is not robust enough for something that big. So I am totally upfront about that. I tell people that no, relevance is not the right tool for your use. Go use ad search, go use Swift type, something else. You lose that customer, but you lose them while they are happy and not when they are disappointed in your service. So they will go, OK, thanks, I'll remember you the next time. Well, the best marketing you have can have is, of course, an excellent free version of your plugin because the plugin repository reaches pretty much all WordPress users. Everybody knows it. And when your plugin is there, it's available for everybody. That's pretty much also the only marketing I've used so far. I've tried some Google advertising banners, affiliate systems, but nothing has worked, really. Absolutely nothing. But this works. We have the free version, and it has 90,000 active installations. And on every one of those installations, there's a link. If you like this and need some more, go buy Premium. And that works. We get lots of traffic from the free plugin. Of course, the free plugin comes with some problems. Uh, it's a really a question of balancing. You want to have a free plugin that is good and does the job and is pleasing to use, yet it shouldn't have that many features that nobody wants to buy the premium version. So the premium must be better, but the free version must be good. And that's really hard balance to strike out. I think in our case, the free version is too good. It's, it was developed before. I even have any plans to make a premium version. So it has all these lovely features that if I were to design it all over again, many of those would be premium features, but I don't like removing them, so now it's just a question of if I add a new, new feature, it's a premium feature. And the free version is pretty good. And for mon many people, it's well enough. They don't need to get the premium, but still, the free version is absolutely the best marketing we have. Of course, it comes with a price. The free users will need support. 
they will post questions on the support forums. And if you're not there to help them, then that's not good. So I go every day to the WordPress org, support forums, and uh, answer questions for the free, free users. And you really need to be nice to those people because they are your potential clients. Most of your clients will be users of the free version. So you want to really be nice to them. Also, there are great source of ideas. There are many features in Relevancy Premium that have come from users of the free version. Somebody asks, I need to do this. Can your plugin do this? Then I say, no, but let's make it so. There are also an excellent test bed for finding bugs. I have about 1,000 active installations for premium and 90,000 for free. So when there's a bug, the free people are the ones, ones that usually find them fast. So that's something you can nurture and something you can use for developing the premium version. Also, there's a question of managing two plugins. And you want to manage just one code base as far as possible. I used to have the free and the premium version on a totally different code base, and maintaining them was a total pain. So I consolidated them that so they both use the same code base, and then the premium just adds on top of that. And that has made my life a lot easier. When you sell a plugin, you have two possibilities. You go to a marketplace, like Code Canyon, or you set up your own store. Both have upsides and downsides. Marketplace is really no worries. Everything is done for you, but the price can be high. I think Code Canyon takes more than half of your income, especially if you're not exclusive. So that's pretty expensive. When you have your own store, uh, my payment process takes like 3 4%, and that's about it. But of course, there are lots of worries, lots of things you really have to worry about. You need to have, for example, payment processor because handling money is just out of the question. And I'm managing my own membership system, my own integration between my payment processor and my membership system, all that I had, had to build myself. So that's not quite optimal, especially if you're not interested in that kind of thing. And you probably want to spend your time actually selling the plugin and doing the fun stuff. But of course, the benefit is that you get more money. So you have to weigh that and make up your mind. I'm not going to go that much further into the technical details. That is something that I really like to talk about, but there's no way this time, time slot is enough. So if there are questions about that, I'm more than willing to answer them. Then there's the question of pricing. Uh, since creating one copy of a software product costs absolutely nothing, how do you set the price? And of course, the pricing is a really complicated issue and affects who is going to buy your product. And I'd rather sell to developers. So I really want to set the price higher to kind of weed out the customers I don't want to serve. I used to have a very cheap option that was cheap license, and that included no support whatsoever. That was great, except those people were the most, made the most support requests anyway. So I really had to cut that away, and it really made my life so much easier. So now I'm aiming higher, and I really want corporate clients, I want dev developer clients, because helping developers with their problems is much easier when they understand what you say. Helping totally non-technical people is kind of painful. But how you price it affects who buys it, so you really have to think about it. And there are really no exactly correct answers for the pricing issue. You must experiment and just basically come up with some numbers and hope that they work. Then uh, there's the question of whether you want to sell a subscription or one-off payment. Customers don't like subscriptions. Uh, I used to sell through PayPal, and I had an reoccurring, recurring subscriptions, and then I get complaints that you're stealing my money because people forget that they have taken an annual subscription. 
So that's not good. But of course, your profit really likes subscriptions. So these days, my, I'm taking kind of the golden, golden road in the middle. I sell the license includes the plugin works forever, but you only get upgrades and support for a year. And then it will expire, and you have to pay again. But it's not an automatic subscription. That seems to work pretty well. Uh, not everybody renews, but many people do. And I get zero complaints about automatic payments, which is a huge benefit. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm at Twitter, or you can email, or you can contact me in the Finnish WordPress Slack. If you have questions about the technical details, about wishlist member and fast spring payment processing and all that. Also, if you want to try Relevancy Premium and want, want a coupon code, you can contact me for that. Um, and that's it. Thank you. <laughs>